What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela Altieri if this is your first time here and welcome to the video. Today we have a fun look. This will be my color series look for July. July. Um, this is a... Okay, what did I do? Oh my gosh. This is like a two-in-one video, I guess. My color series look and I recreated a milk 142 no lies I recreated a milk 1422 um, face chart a little sneak peek you probably saw it in the thumbnail June was pride month which is you know where the rainbows come in and for my June color series, I actually did yellow. <laughs> I did yellow for June. Why? How did I forget that? Um, and I'm still waiting on something to do for my the color that I've been trying to do since like last month. So, yeah, here we are with a rainbow look, and I recreated a nice face chart. Here's a little close up. Oh my gosh, how cute! And this is a rainbow look, and I had to be resourceful and not use my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette because I am not using Jeffree Star cosmetic products anymore. Whatever I have, I have, and I'll use up on this hair is bothering me, and I'll use up on my own time but i will not be promoting that brand on this channel and i did use a morphe brush which i did without realizing but i don't plan on promoting morphe anymore on my channel with everything going on that's my stance i don't want to promote those brands so Yes, I used my BH Cosmetics colorful palette instead, and the look came out just as beautiful. I actually used I actually used a lot of drugstore products in this look, so there's that. This is getting way too long for an intro, so if you're interested in how I recreated this face chart and the products I used, you know the deal, you know the drill, you know the vibes. Let's get it. Um, I'm listening to Peter Mann. Um, but for my base, I'm using Touch and Soul No Pore Glum. I have on the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation in MN4. I mix two concealers. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in Medium 90W and the Benefit Cakeless Concealer in number 5. I set my under eyes a little bit, a little bit on my chin, a little bit on my nose, and my forehead line, like a little bit with the Hourglass Veal Translucent Setting Powder. And I I did my eyebrows with the Urban Decay Brow Blade with just the ink stain because you know the eyebrows look very feathery. So yeah, and I set that with Essence Make Me Brows, but in soft brownie browns, a lighter shade. My hair looks a little light today because um the brows were super light. So was the hair, but you know, so super light and. Feathery than feathery. So, so she definitely has bronze and blush. I got new black, a new black radiance pressed powder for my bronzer. So if you didn't see my last video, I'll link it up here. Mine shattered, completely shattered, devastated. But I got a new one. 
So here it is. Hmm. Don't remember a brush coming with it. And I remember being the full pan. Hmm. Quite intriguing. So this is the Black Radiance Pressed Powder and Bronze Glow. Did they like repackage this or something? Hmm. Hmm. I'm kind of scared. I didn't set my entire face, which is unusual for me. But I'm just gonna bronze like usual. I'm going to use this Beach Cosmetics Number no. 6 brush from the Rose Gold Elegance and this powder to contour because there is definitely like a harsh contour. That's contoured. <laughs> I'm gonna take the brush I used to set my under eyes. Just like soften that. I'm gonna go in with this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in bronze or right. Yeah, and bronzer. These this packaging on this always messes up. I'm gonna take that also and contour because the contour is pretty harsh right here. But it's, it's also cool toned. And this is a little bit more cool toned. And then like she makes it like button nose. I have a big nose. There's no, nothing but any about this. Then we're gonna blush. I'm going in with the Alamar Cosmetics Colorettes Blush Trio in medium tan. Oh, there's something definitely bad. She's a little peachy pinky. More like this. I'm gonna use this. This is the shade Isla. So I'm gonna go in with that and then blush. It's more focused, not so much on the apples, but over here. So I'm gonna focus over there on the cheeks. Right It's definitely intense, you know. I like that. Ooh, I kind of like that. We're gonna keep this out. So I'm definitely gonna use that again. Um, down here, super bright. So I'm going in with Nars Snow Soft Velvet Powder to do some highlighting under there. It's super bright underneath. I think I'm chiseled. Stay please, thank you. And it goes like where the contour ends. What it looks like and it's super bright here like super bright i'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and just blend that in a little bit so 
You might start hearing fireworks. I'm gonna go back in with the bronzer and a big, a big, a big fluffy brush. This is Luxie 250. I'm gonna want to like contour the eyes because there's like a contour right here. Right here. I'm going to create that shadow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh for sure. I'm also going to take that underneath my eyes. I might have to go on with something even darker, but I'm gonna take it like into like my eye bag, I guess, call it. Okay, now I'm going in with the blush. Look at me looking the same color. On a pin. I don't know if like it's on the eyelid. I can't tell if it's on the eyelid. But it's definitely in sick. Crease up until here. Okay, now the my sound will be a little different. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm just gonna keep building that up. I'm going to drag some onto my lid, but not too much. retract everything i'm just gonna put it all on my lid because how could it not be all over the lid i watch peter every day boom 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 so that's my top and it's gonna be like that to make sure that like contour shade is still there. Like contour. Yes. Going in with the e.l.f. bite size shadow and cream and sugar. I'm going to use this Luxie 249 brush. This like paddle side. First, with this lightest shade, put that in my right here because <laughs> it's pretty light right there. How much will this show? Probably not. <laughs> it's so close to like my color. Is it doing anything? I'm going in with the darkest shade. Right there, that one. I'm going into the outer corner. I'm gonna blend that out with the shade I used to contour my eyes. The shade I use with bronzer. I'm gonna use that light shade to blend it out. So there are the eyes for right now. Um, I can't really see highlight, but I wanted to use this. So I'm gonna put this on. This is Wet n Wild Mega Glow and Precious Petals. Just wanted to use it. I am. There's definitely highlight on the. On the it's a cupid's bow. And they do the trick I do where it's like super. shaded in the cupid's bow. Wait, 
I'm going to take a number eight rose gold brush from BH, like a dense shader. And I don't know how much this will be like gone over, but I'm going to highlight the pressure of my nose pretty intensely because it's pretty intense. Now we get crazy I'm going in with the what is this? The BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And we're going to get into the rainbow. I didn't prepare like what brush to use. I'm probably just gonna use the same brush and like what you call it, uh clean it, you know? So the first color in rainbow. Not even the first color here is purple. So I'm gonna go in with these are all shimmer by the way. I'm not using my Jeffree Star palette, so I'm gonna do with this. Probably like these two right here. There are no names on it either, so that's nice. Top of the accents. I'm gonna start with the bridge of my nose and sweep it. Like such, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah. Dance dance the purple. And then it'll be indigo. <laughs> and then I'm getting super like precise with this. I'm gonna go in with this color right here, right there. Oh, shit, which one was it? Oh, look. I already forgot. You see this crumbled one? I'm gonna go in with the ant and the ant mixed. Now you see that was a little bit too much. Product. And I'm gonna try to go over halfway over the purple indigo blue I'm gonna go in with just this blue right here I'm gonna take a more dense brush and kind of like put this on. Roy G, big Roy G. Okay, so now we're going into green. I'm gonna go back in with that packing brush. Green, right? That's what I said. <laughs> Going with this bright ass green. Fade it on. Roy, yellow. Okay, yellow. Going with this shade right here. Okay, now we're going into orange. Perfect orange right here. I forgot to include the red, which I just put on my nose and applied like the others. Okay, I put on mascara, just any mascara. This is Kevin O'Quan, the expert mascara. And some Lashaholic lashes. I wanted a lash that was like very long in the middle and fluttery, so that's what I have on. 
I'm going in with the ColourPop Honey Dude Cream Gel Liner. Definitely should have been before mascara, but I'm going to line my lips with ColourPop Curvy. She has a nude combo, but it's more on the pinky side, and her line is pretty harsh. I forgot to record my lipstick, which is Sephora Rouge Lacquer in Fearless. Okay, now we're gonna do freckles. I have a bunch of these next vivid brights. I'm just gonna alternate between them. This is in the color vivid petal. I'm going in with the Vivid Halo. Okay, I'm going in with Vivid Blossom. I've moved on to watching Kathleen. <laughs> Going in with Vivid, oh uh, shit, with Vivid Sapphire. Okay, and then I'm going in with. Vivid Envy, which isn't very bright, but... Two more to go, this is Vivid Violet. Last one, going in with the white one, bright white. I wasn't going to do my hair like this. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I have my iPad here. Oh, shit. Am I her? Oh. I don't have a lollipop, but like. <laughs> and I match my cup if it was filled. Okay, guys. Who is she? I've never. At least I don't remember ever doing my hair like this. Let's just compare this again. Oh my gosh. Let's just compare this again. Like, am I not she? Minus the hair. I don't have bangs and I will never, ever do bangs again. So, there's that. I'll get like clip and bangs. I'm not putting bangs. No, 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 no. I'll never do that again. Never make that mistake again. Promise you. So, here's the look. Now, I will say, like, when I edit my pictures for this look, I'll probably intensify the blush because the blush is pigmented in person, but my camera is not translating that the way this looks here. Just putting that out there. Here's a close-up of the look. I love the freckles, super cute. Again, I'm gonna take a picture with my little Starbucks confetti cup. Because that's kind of perfect. That's what it looks like on my face. So so okay, that's the end of this video. If you like it, hit the like button down below. 
comment what you think of this look how did i do give me a little reading tell me what you think i should do for next month's color series video there's a color i keep having in mind i keep wanting to do I'm just waiting on something i'm waiting it's taking long okay um if you like me and you like this video share it to a friend one friend all your friends instagram twitter and link all my social media down below i link my macari down below if you're interested in any of the makeup i'm selling be sure to subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification if you're feeling froggy i post every thursday and sunday um yeah thank you so 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 much for watching and i hope to catch you in the next one bye